My name is Susan Snyder, and I am a curator at the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. I first came to know of Christina Sheger, who today is Christine Karen, through another colleague who asked me to contact her. Perhaps I would be interested in her story for an upcoming exhibition that we were having. I did call her, and I asked if she would be willing to loan an artifact that she wore while she was in hiding. It's an artifact that has quite a unique story. It was a sweater that she wore in Lvov. She was a Jewish little girl who had to go into hiding, and I asked her if she would be willing to lend the sweater for our upcoming exhibition, and she agreed. Wherever I went from place to place, I had one thing that I wanted to wear. It was my sweater that my grandmother knitted for me before the war. When the exhibition ended after a two-year multi-city run, I went back to her and I asked her if she would be willing to donate the sweater. It was much more of a difficult decision for her to decide to donate it rather than just to loan it to the museum. But she agreed and, and we acquired it. You look at the sweater and you think, a seven-year-old child wore this in the, in the sewers for 14 months. The sweater is beautifully made. We've looked at it with the conservators, and the conservator thinks that the pattern was probably a pattern that her grandmother created herself and hand-knit. And so for Christina, the sweater has a very emotional background because it was something that her grandmother had made for her. The family was imminently going to be deported. Her father decided they needed to go into hiding. His choice was to break through the ground of an apartment into the sewage system. And the whole family, along with some dozen other friends and family, went into the sewers. Just days into being in the sewage system, they were discovered by a non-Jewish sewer worker named Leopold Socha. The fear was that Socha would give the family up to the Gestapo that had occupied the city. So the family was very fearful of this, but in the end, Leopold Socha decided that he was going to help the family. Christina's story really helps us to illustrate the experiences of Jews who were living in and around Lvov and what happened to them. Because it's such an unusual collection to have, and also just that it's a textile that managed to survive, it's extremely important, and we use it as a jumping-off point to talk about the greater history of Lvov. To have this kind of original primary source material is very important. The museum is still actively collecting. There is still a large survivor community, and we are very interested in knowing about their material and their stories. And it's important to collect it from survivors who can really tell us as much as possible. Once a survivor passes away, we do not have that history anymore. If you know survivors or second generation who have materials that would be of interest to the museum, we would like to hear from you.